Hey guys. So I just want to give y'all a little tip, right? And just give y'all a little explanation of some of the stuff that I be trying to teach y'all. A lot of times um, you guys get to know who these spirit guides are that are stepping forward. But you guys are not taking the time to sit and really understand what it is about them and what it is that they bring to help you within your life. You do the altars, that's fine. You got to know them, right? Because then you know what kind of help you have. Um, there comes a time where most of these spirits, they, they work, right? And you have to know what it is that they have access to and how it is that they like to work, right? Um, especially if you're up against a battle, especially if someone is doing something to you, especially if it's about a protective measure. You guys have got to sit at your altars sometimes with a pen and paper in hand and ask them to show you what it is that they want you to do. What is it that it is in your best interest to do to combat what is going on, to help what is going on, to fix what is going on, you know? Um, I find that a lot of you get these altars and have these spirits and y'all be having some heavy hitters and y'all are not working them. Y'all got to work them. If you have these types of spirits that is um, a part of a system that you can look up and, you know, get this information online about them, I need you guys to look it up and, and find out as much information as you can. What it is that they like to drink, what it is that they like to smoke, what type of tools did they use, what kind of workings did they use, where are they from? So that kind of tells you of the things that they would have had access to to use in their workings, right? The colors that they prefer for the type of workings that you're doing, uh, what kind of weaponry it is that they'd like for you to have on hand for them so that they can utilize in the spirit spiritual realm for you you know it goes further than just having the statues on the altar you got to put these energies to work and a lot of times they sit in there waiting for you to tell them it's go time you know some of them will do what they can do but some of them need that one hit a quitter to knock some of these people out you understand what i'm saying i preach love and light and all of that but don't do no harm take no shit is is how this goes Right. So in knowing and I, I, I stress to you guys about the vengeance and the justice thing, because this is justice. This is not vengeance and everything should be sanctioned and warranted. Meaning when I am doing a divination for somebody and I'm talking to your answers and they tell me that they're going to let this spirit guy come out and this spirit guy comes out and starts telling me all of these things that you need to be doing and the ways that you work them and the workings and all of the stuff that they need you to know and how to do it. That means that the ancestors is back in it. That means that you are being um, 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 allowed to do what it is that they're telling you to do, you know? And so getting that relationship with you gives you the confidence to trust yourselves a little bit more. Trust what you see, trust what you heard, but start writing this stuff down to see what makes sense, you know? It's not, a, I don't tell um, anyone on here any type of things to do to hurt people, but in my private sessions, if there's something that you need to do to protect yourself, oh, we getting into that. Okay? Get out of here. Um, my 30-minute sessions, I wanted to cover that too, is really for you, if you need help connecting with your guys while you're doing your cards. That means you already know who the guides are, and you just need somebody to tell you something about what you're doing wrong, right? You need my energy to come in and help you to navigate through that. I'll do that in the 30-minute sessions. If you have, y'all jump in my DMs, ask me a thousand questions all the time. You could jump in that 30-minute session, ask all questions you want. This is not a divination, though. This is not like the ancestral divination where I'm sitting there getting into your business heavy, you know? This is just me, my spirit guides guiding you on certain things that you need to be doing, you know, getting you started in your walk. You know, when you need further information, that's not for the 30 minute session. That's for the ancestral divination. So no, I don't discount my ancestral divinations. I don't discount my time. Um, and I don't discount my energy. So those are two very different things that you're asking of. And I, I, um, would tell anyone that if you don't know the ancestral divination is the way to go. Now, don't think that that means that you coming over to me because you war, war, war. That's not what I said. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying or what I'm offering or what I do. When your ancestors say it's go, that's who we listening to. That's it. Not you. So a lot of times y'all want to go, go, go. And the ancestors is looking at you like, no, 
You know, you didn't even ask who it was. I've had a person do some spiritual shit and hide behind somebody else's image to try to make me believe that it was this person doing the works because the girl, the person was very knowledgeable who would have been somebody that could do the work, but off the rip, the energy was wrong. So I knew to take it to the ancestors and confirm like this wasn't the girl that was in the um the the vision that I was shown or whatever. And they was like, no, it wasn't her. It was this other person. And you're right in who you thought it was. It wasn't that other one. So y'all be ready to go on people that really didn't do something because people are now very, very tricky that'll do stuff and hide their hands and, and put a camouflage a face of somebody else and make you think it's them. So you go start a war with somebody else that's going to give you a run for your money while they sitting in the background hiding. You know, so we always confirm stuff before we start shooting shots back and all of that other kind of stuff with our spirit guides and our ancestors to make sure that what we are doing is sanctioned and what it is warranted. All right.